account. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't even remember if that's there. That's why I was like, probably. I guess it, I guess it is. Probably. I don't know. Though. I don't know. It's been a little while since I've uh, made a new YouTube account. I guess about yeah. five years, in fact. Yeah, mine dates back to like 2012, 2011. My account, my actual account, maybe even earlier. I, I could take a look. I guess it's not like it's secret information. <laughs> I know I've had it for a while though. I don't remember clicking male or female on there. I think I think it, if you used your Google account, like I use like a Google account as a login, they probably just take like your information from there. Oh yeah, I mean they probably know what I have for breakfast. Hundred percent, so. dude. I've already <laughs> I've already accepted that Google knows my entire daily routine, the things I think, and all that. Because I literally <laughs> yeah. type everything into that Google search bar, so. It's seen everything I ever do. I have a Google Pixel, so you know all that stuff that's going into Hell Google yeah. Drive. That's, that's all public info, as yeah. far as it, as far as I see it. But, <laughs> anyways, uh, I don't know what to make of this. You got a whole lot, you yeah, got even more zone and coming with Robin. There, there's like, oh. like we were, we were talking about math earlier. Someone probably found it's like two to the whatever power. And it's like, this is how many possible matchups there are in Smash Ultimate, ex like, including Echoes. Damn. And it's probably some stupid amount of character, like, stupid amount of matchups that you could possibly do between two people. And this problem, I have never seen. Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I literally have never seen this, mostly because you don't really see a lot of Robins. I guess there's enough Belmonts. Yeah. Like, like, there was a... a Aggie it was a Belmont last week. I think got second or third, something like that. And then, yeah, there was a. I know Dom is another Belmont that's out of there. Or yeah, T three Dom is T3 probably the Dom. best Belmont in uh, the U S. And then Riddles, if whenever he plays Belmont. I think he's done though, right? He's just is he plays, done with Belmont? Just Terry now. Just Terry. Okay. I mean, his, he got that the buzz one with Belmont. So was that at SmashCon? Yeah, that was SmashCon. That, that was with that pop off. Oh, that's right. I think that was probably the last time. Oh, maybe the last time. That was the last time. relevant Belmont moment in <laughs> a major. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah the, the, the classic, where were you when Shutan dared off a of Pikmin? <laughs> yeah. Everybody's favorite. Yeah. You All could right. do a where are they now for that moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Dark Falcon turning up, down a little bit, and now... Nice and reset and neutral. Got the, oh my yeah. lord. Yeah, that's the one again. It's like. Robin's projectiles are just faster than Belmont's. He's faster, dude. That's yeah, it. He's gonna, he's gonna have to, uh. Like, place, place his projectiles better, you know? You gotta preemptively know where Robin's gonna be. It's not like Robin is super mobile either. Neither of these characters are. Yeah, but that's it's, true. it's the projectiles that you really have to play around with Robin. Oh, yep. fair. Yeah, off the top. The yeah. 11 sword. 11 coming, good. coming clutch. That And that is such a big deal for Robin, just having that. And it, it's good that that move wears out because it is very oh, strong. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think uh, getting killed there slightly unexpectedly. Yeah, yeah, I think he. I don't even think he got the sweet spot of back air. No, it didn't look like it. It's kind of died. Um, Okay, uh, falling out. <laughs> Thought he could do something with that, but I mean, I guess Holy Water's like, nah, fam, you're gonna fall out right now. <laughs> it's so funny when I watch the cross up here. Oh, he's getting healed. He's getting that was good. Right that was really yeah. good. I was not expecting that. I just thought it was gonna be uh, 11. Yeah, the go the only down. dark magic in the game. Uh -oh. Got him. Okay, he's GGs. dead. Yeah, uh, got him. GG's. <laughs> That's what happened, dude. He, he, that was smart. This, and that's the thing is, um, what's that, Elwind? Yeah. Also, Even if you don't get the spike, I mean, against Belmont, it's just like, yeah, yeah I, I knocked you off your tether. It's like, yeah, that's it. Yeah, because a lot of people could save a jump, you know, and, and still make it back. But if you're Belmont, you kind of need that jump <laughs> at, at all moments. Yeah, that angle he got sent, that was horrible, too. Like, he, he, he fared, and I don't even think his fare, like, tethered to the ledge. I so I, it, it was probably it. Um, like it, it. Yeah, that was definitely it. I'm like watching the stream because it's a little bit behind mm -hmm. where, where we're actually at. But it was it, it, it was it anyways. Even if he didn't get hit by the Elwind, he wasn't making it back. That 11 angle is just disgustingly bad. 
Yeah, it is. It's, it's 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 kind of a weird move, and it does spike if you're close enough to it, which is something. But um, wait, like downs? Uh, yeah, downward yeah. spike. El Elwin will spike. Oh, Elwin. Here. Sorry, I was thinking. I thought you said Levin Sword. My bad. Oh no no no. I'm sorry. Uh, I miss. I misunderstood you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that can, that can it can spike, so it just depends on how close you are to it, which is something I just learned the other day. I just, I didn't know when it spiked, but apparently yeah, it's, just it's like close. the very beginning of the move that you have to spike. Yeah, because like you have to pretty much be going down with someone, and you just up B just to spike them. Yeah, because um, I've seen Angel kill with that pretty reliably. Um, and it's pretty brutal because you could kind of do it as like someone's like drifting back to ledge. You just like yeah. kind of pop off and. Or if you, uh, like, you just snipe a double jump and spike them. Yeah, like, that's another get thing. Get an early kill. Alright. So here we go. Pocket with the advantage. Best of five set here, so still a lot of room to work with. I mean, we've yeah. seen all kinds of things happen in these brackets, whether it be 3-0s, reverse 3-0s, game fives. Um, anything can happen. Uh, meanwhile, though, on the other end of bracket, I want to talk about in between sets and get a chance to. It does look like Doom did DQ, so Haven is going to be our one of our next ups in Loser Seni. He's going to be taking on the winner of Uh and Sensei, currently playing for fifth. Uh, you got your number one, your number four seed. Battling out for fifth. Uh, both of them have won a DNA before, so um, sometimes it happens like that. Yeah, bracket be like that sometimes. All about maintaining consistency, and sometimes it's just not on your side. You run into a bad matchup. Yeah. It just kind of ruins your night when you run into that one matchup you hate. Yeah, man. I mean, we got to see uh, <clears throat> even Uh right now, uh, who was the first seed, and then, yeah, playing for fifth right now. Got taken out by Pocket. He was a 29 seed. You just don't know. Um, although, I kind of... Pocket I, has literally won a DNA before. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know why he's seated so low. Yeah, no, no, I guess it's. I been mean, a it might while. have been. It could be like a, a seating dispute. Like um, you don't want to fight a certain person. I don't know. That, that's usually what I assume when a good player gets seated low. It's like you just want to. Oh, that happens too. Some that, sort that's of, true. Like yeah, you want to prevent something like that from happening. Yeah, they both kind of got that same fire effect going with their their specials. Can Belmont reach that top platform, like the higher ones? So I feel like he's, it's kind of hard for him to deal with uh, Robin sitting on that top platform just, just charging. Oh, the Thoron? Yeah, that's, that's, that's so tough to deal with if you don't grab the ledge. Yeah, and the, the crazy thing about Thoron, too, is you could shoot it up and, it, like, it... it stays attached to you as you fall down so like it, it could kind of hit vertically in a, in a way yeah it's like a it's just a giant beam that kind it's of just goes down with you dude. it's yeah. got weird properties that was really yeah. good by, by dark falcon too mm -hmm. really forcing pocket's entire hand couldn't do anything out of that yeah pocket kind of got left in a bad, a bad spot with that platform I the other it... platform layout though is that, like it serves him well this one not so much because he can actually Belmont can actually hit the platform with, the, with his, his whip. Yeah, that's a, a good option. I feel like you don't always really see get used. I almost forget. It's like it's like a it's one of Robin's moves that gets forgotten. Although Robin kind of gets forgotten, so yeah. it's just it's like double forgotten. Yeah, I don't think he drops into free fall anymore. I might be wrong though when he uses Nosferatu. You could definitely get um, some movement out of that. It does. It's it's like a lot of other moves. I think where it'll kind of change your trajectory. Uh, trajectory. Yeah, because like when I think of Robin, like I think of Jewel from New York, who's like who's like one of the best offline Robins. I don't even think he plays Wi-Fi. I haven't seen from anything from him in a while. Oh, oh. Jewel. Yeah, I don't think yeah. Jewel plays Wi-Fi. That was yeah, that was the Robin though doing it. Uh, got yeah. everyone, everybody in a tizzy. I remember there was the whole like what tier <laughs> is Robin discussion for a little while. Oh mm -hmm. man, yeah, yeah I mean, Thoron, if you believe in your character, I mean, more power to you. Hell yeah, man. Uh, dude, Thoron will definitely kill right now. Um, and yeah. he's really back through. Yo, oh yeah. I don't think he was ready for the back throw to kill. That was pretty early. I wasn't ready for the back throw to kill. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're on town, so I mean, I guess. 
Yeah, 112 before the throw. That's pretty early. I mean, I guess the rage does play a factor in that. It does, I guess. But no but... kill screen or nothing on that either. Yeah, I mean, when when you start mounting up percent, especially as Belmont, like it, it it just gets worse and worse for you because those throws, even though they didn't kill, being that far off stage, having to come back against a character like Robin, like it's already yeah. getting pretty rough for you at that point. I mean, the good thing though is that like that stage for Belmont, he can recover a little bit better just because it's closer to the blast zone. So even if you're in the bubble, you're not as far off stage compared to stage like I don't know, like FD or something or Kalos. So, we could have a 3 0. We could have another game, another two. Who knows? Uh, I guess we'll see what Dark Falcon can figure out in this time. It does look like pockets. Um, yeah, both, we'll both games are pretty close, though. So, I mean, they honestly all could go either way. It's true. It's almost a coin flip. It is true. I mean, they've all been last stock to some degree, mostly last hit. I think there's just that whole uh, Belmont factor where you're a lot more exploitable as a character coming in mm. right at the last moments. And Robin does have some really good options, especially when things get in the clutch. So, Yeah, and Bel like you said, Belmont's polarizing, but I mean, you haven't really seen like just the straight up early kills and early edge guards. Because Dark Falcon hasn't been putting himself in that position. He, anytime you're off stage, he's, he's not going to leave himself out there to get clipped by something or sent flying off stage at an early percent. He's just hanging in the center stage, letting the projectiles do the work for him. Like, even there, he gets close to the ledge, air dodges right back to center. Yeah, and already, I think... Ooh, wow. I think he got scooped by his arm reaching up. Oh, my God. Oh, God, that, that nair. pressure of that, dude. Yeah. He was... I mean, just ran out of sword, too. I don't know what the best thing for Pal uh, Dark Falcon would have been there. Just hold block. Probably wasn't even thinking about the Levin Sword running out, yeah. but got hit by the last hit. Yeah, I, I think... He, oh, my God, yeah. I think he held block as well, and he got poked by just the the massive size of Levin Sword. <laughs> yeah, just wearing all, wearing out the shield. Yeah. And, and even if he didn't die to that, like, you saw the angle he was hit at. He wasn't making it back. This actually looks really brutal for Belmont's the more I'm watching it play out. Robin has really good ranged options and honestly could box just fine. And Belmont's not that good at boxing, so... Yeah, all his up-close options are really, really slow in comparison. Like, yeah, Robin's using a sword, but, like, oh that that's, like, a, that's a Levin sword. That's, that's, like, extremely safe on hit and block. Okay, yeah, so there is definitely room for Dark Falcon to work with a lot, uh, quite a bit of room at that. You're not going to find any quick kills on Robin, but uh, you can definitely vortex the character pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's kind of a problem with, with Belmont. They don't really have a, a strong vortex. Oh, it's a platform. No, he had to, he had to the air dodge. Literally. I guess he thought that platform was coming back because you, you can time it if you know um, if you know the, like, the, the length of the, the transition and you watch the stage behind you moving, like the background, you can like time when the platforms are turned. So I know James has done that plenty yeah, of times. Yeah, James has done that a few times. People. There was that epic moment against, uh, what was it, Cosmos? Where he uh, uh, no, I know, I know it was Void. It was I was Void, void. yeah, it was yeah. Soaring Slash to the platform coming back in, yeah. the, in the middle Ooh. of nowhere, but. <laughs> oh! Yeah, it's definitely possible, good down smash. It's definitely possible to learn the timing on stages like this. Like the the ones that change. Oh, that's a regrab. Oh, wait, no, it's not. A character really like was. Robin too has so much movement in the air to avoid things like the axe from Richter because that's a really good like predictive move. Damn. Yeah, arc fire up smash true combo. That's that's tough. Yeah, this is that's that's that is very much a checkmate situation. Yeah. Because there's just. N once you're in there, then that's it. The Levin Sword's gonna gonna finish off, and that is exactly what happened. So that is gonna be, um, I that's guess a three zero and a a monitor punch, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I feel like if you're playing Belmonts to the level Dark Falcon's playing Belmonts, sometimes you probably have experienced like. Oh yeah, that, he, I'm, I mean? I, yeah. I don't think he gets salty. It's probably not. Like if you're playing like a low tier character, like you you kind of expect it to happen even if you're good this is like there's just some matchups that can just be overwhelming yeah you, and if you don't know them it's like ugh, yeah and you develop bad. the thick skin over time or yeah. i, I want to believe uh i want to believe that's what happens 
Yeah, I've always said once you select a low tier, you lose your right to rage if you lose, <laughs> because you kind of know what you're getting into. I mean, that's true, and honestly, I think that almost plays to your benefit if you do, because like the mental game is something in Smash, like being able to just not be angry when you play yeah. is will help you a ton, to just by virtue of that. Like, I don't know. Some people do well with rage, though, you know? Some people, like, get a little mm -hmm. bit of a power-up, but I don't think the average person really does. Yeah. And that that's that's offline rage. We have to... We didn't even mention online rage. That's a, that's a different thing entirely. Yeah, that's, that is, <laughs> that's true. 